All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Mega Wednesday. It is Wednesday, August 21st, and we are here with some great games. I'm your host, Tony, and with me over here is our intern, Alex. Here we go. You remembered. Yes. I'm so happy. He looks oh my goodness. similar to Tristan, but we had to fire Tristan. He was giving away too many jackpots. That's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Alex is here. Are you working the happy hour games tomorrow or the lunchtime games? I think I'm doing one of them. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm just told to get coffee and when I have to get on camera. Yes. Like that's that's all I really know. Is my car washed? Um, I don't know if I got around to okay. that today. <laughs> I, I haven't been told all if right. I washed it or not. <laughs> so, yes. Why don't you come out tomorrow at uh, lunchtime for 25 cents a card. You got a shot at winning over $32,000. Big yeah. prizes out there on the coverall games. Lunchtime at 1230. Happy hour at 430. Be six chances tomorrow to win some big prizes. But before that, we got a lot of winners coming up tonight. Mega Wednesday. That's right. Cheap games, lots of winners. Best night of the week. It Mainly is. Mainly because it's the hump day and everyone knows their week is nearly over. It is. This is just a $5 game, $620 in total prizes out there. And I want to say with this game, there's 20 winners on this one. So okay. A lot of chances to get money, too. Got a good shot out there to get some cash. You guys are having a great week. Look at that. We got Marky Mark and Marky Mark. Marky Mark and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, and there's Super. I Super remember Dave. seeing Super Dave a while ago. Yep, Super Dave Osborne. That's right. Former, former star of uh, the David Letterman show. Oh, and in seventh place, we have Sarah Honey. Oh, you know, I was watching uh, the Happy Hour game today, and I saw Sarah Honey one ball away from, like, a large M, or yes. she was out there in the lead for a while. Yeah. And I thought, she's going to get that M, and then she's going to get the 32,000. But didn't happen. Oh, okay. So last week on uh, Mega Wednesday, Super Dave placed first in Blingo Bingo. Ooh, all so right. it looks like he's out there trying to replicate that win. Yes, he knows how to do it, and he wants to do it one more time. So, yeah, but why not? in first, there is your arch nemesis. Gator. Gator. Oh, yes, the Gator. That yeah. is definitely true. <laughs> Gator, we had a little bit of an argument about two weeks ago down there in the swamp. That's right. But it's nice to see you, Gator. That's right. And apparently before uh, Nikki or before Tony went out to the swamp, Nikki even said, don't go play with the alligator. She did say that. And I didn't listen. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, she s said, I told you so. But when I got back and I went and did it the next night, too. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a 45 play 10 minute flash bingo tournament game. Working our way from the left to the right on those little yellow progress bars, indicating how many of those 45 plays each of these players has completed. Once they get all the way over to the right, they'll have no more plays left. Be able to sit back, relax, and watch those results come in. Right now, we got Gator out there. 10,000 PGL points, followed by Bill Stuff and Bingo in fourth place. Now fifth oh. place. Yeah, Bingo falling a little bit there. And there's Chicken Man, everyone's favorite chicken slash man. Willie in eighth and John in ninth. And remember, PyCon is coming up October 18th. That's and right. you're going to want to go to that. There's limited space. The Blues Brothers are going to be there. Uh, it's going to be an amazing event. You're going to find out everything that's going on inside of Pilot, things that are coming up the next year, things we did this past year. Might hear some interesting things about PCS, the Pilot Championship Series. May have some news on that. And uh, that's all happening October 18th. Go to pilotgames.com and register for PyCon. If you don't register, we're not going to let you in. That's we know people that's checking the names. Important part. Yes. <laughs> we know who's going to be checking the names. They work in the door, and uh, they're very strict. I, I've been told that I don't get to actually enjoy the Blues Brothers. I'm only there to help wash cars. Yeah. <laughs> Gator Willie Devo U Devo U S M C. Yes. A lot it's of it's out a there. it's a mouthful, it but is. it works. Bill back on top at Lorianne's first place. Gator right behind them too, with only 200 points separating them. With this five dollar buy-in, you can win up to 182 bucks on this one. That's so right. It is. Big wins out there. That's right. It's and I mean second place is still seventy three dollars. Third place is fifty eight. I mean that's not really that bad. Yeah, that's some good money on just five bucks. Who is that? Abraham Lincoln. I think. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Does Mason know who's on the five dollar bill? Because one dollar is George Washington. Five, I'm pretty sure, is Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Twenty is Andrew Jackson. All right. So this is like a Lincoln uh, night here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we, we even just heard. Yes, it is. It is Abraham. confirmed. Confirmed. The Vampire Hunter, Abraham <laughs> Lincoln. Is that what he was? Or is that a movie? That's a movie. Right. It, it, was, a, it was a book and a movie. 
True story? Uh, yes, based on a true story. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> All right. Devo, USMC out there in sixth place. We've got, uh, apparently Mason wants us to point out there's hot granny scrolling by. All right. <laughs> Good Bill, luck. Bill holding on to that lead out there, 13,000 PGL points. We are way into season six of PGL, and it looks like Blue Beast is back on top. The leaderboards That's took right. over the first place from Sarah Honey last night. That's right. He got into first place. Yep. But it's still close. Yes, it is. So In fact, it's only 9,000 points between them. In fact, a little bit less than 9,000. And we know we saw Sarah Honey scrolling by. I don't know if we've seen Blue Beast playing tonight. I haven't seen his name yet. And that might, uh, that might make a big difference because you can get points on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's right. Oh, and there's Gator. I was going to say Gator had close to half their plays left. They were taking their time. Yeah, well. Just waiting. You got all, t all ten minutes. That's right. And I, I think I just heard Blue Beast is playing I tonight. think we did hear, yeah, the Blue Beast is out there tonight. So uh, we'll keep an eye on those PGL points and see where we're at. We also have the leaderboards for our bars, bar standings for season six. Do you know what those are? That's right. So in first, we actually have Vix Bar and Grill in Moorhead. They actually took over first place from the St. Cloud Moose Club in St. Cloud. Third place is Colonial Lanes in Rochester. Fourth place is Shenanigans Cheer and Chow, home of Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. <laughs> and then fifth is Mully's on Madison in Mankato. Mankato, yes. Mankato. I'm just looking up Vix Bar and Grill. Look at this place. Wow. Ooh. They got on their webpage, they have uh, two images. One is a real picture of a beer with an orange in it. Uh, what kind, I don't remember what kind of beers you get those in, but uh, Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Blue yeah, Moon. Okay. And then right next to it is a cartoon dog drinking out of a frosty mug. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Louie in third now, we just heard. We were so busy looking at these, these amazing images. And Louie oh, is... Oh, the dog is named Vic. Oh, Okay. And Louis is third in the state, third right? Third in the state, yeah, that's right. Vicks Bar and Grill, great food, oh, good yeah. friends, live music, and cold beer. They got it all. Yeah, Louis third in the game and third in the state right now. Yeah, if anybody's playing at Vicks Bar and Grill, let us know. Send us pictures. Yep. Send See, us I, I just ate, so I'm immune to seeing food. Oh, right okay. Now. I ate actually recently today, too. Okay. So we all should be good. Yes. Mason might Mason be in trouble. Might, yeah. <laughs> Mason might be a little in trouble. Three and a half minutes to go. Gator still hold on to first place out there, Bill in second. Louie in third. Chad K in fourth. And Stuff. I love Stuff. Everyone love loves Stuff. stuff. <laughs> oh, Sam in six with a ton of plays left. Oh, yeah. 12,000 PGL points. Just 5,000 points behind Gator. And a bunch of plays left, yeah. And Gator looks like it, they're holding on to that last play. Same with Louie. And there's Sam moving up to fifth place already. Yeah, we got a couple players on the leaderboard pulling a seahorse. We only know that it's only a seahorse if you dance, though. Yes, that is true. There's there's more involved in just saving that last play. That's right. <laughs> and it looks like Gator using up that last play, uh, putting them still in first for now. We don't know where Sam's going to end up, or even Louie. Yep, there's Sam uh, in fourth place now. Slowly Mo moving up. Moving up. Uh, just about still 5,000 points back. Probably five or six plays to go. So we got Forget You D in 77th place, who's a longtime player. I saw Forget You D today playing oh, at the yeah. happy hour. And uh, actually, I want to say Forget You D is on our PGL leaderboard, but I don't remember what position right now. Top 25 somewhere, though. So, yes, that's right. At least in the top 25. All right, coming up on two minutes to go. Remember, Monday through Friday we're here, and then we'll be back next Tuesday for Megasota Game Night. And the big jackpot on Megasota Game Night is, uh, what is that up to now? It's growing. 30, over like 37,000? Uh, that's actually a good question. Oh. <laughs> okay, just under 30,000 we heard. I was close. Yeah, you know. I think with the contributions that come in on Tuesday nights, though, that could be over 35,000. Yeah, yeah, which that's is just under 37. That's where, where just you like I said. You carried the two. Yeah, grew by 5,000 last week, so. Also, we just had Sailor Girl jump on the leaderboard into eighth place from nowhere. Welcome to the leaderboard, Sailor Girl. Uh, let's see how well you can do. She still had a ton of plays left. Oh, okay. So it turns out Sailor Girl also started playing with us not that long ago, too. Oh, all right. Nice to see you back playing at Lorianne's. I think there was somebody else on the leaderboard at Lorianne's earlier. Bill. Yeah, Bill. Okay, there we go. Two players at Lorianne's. That's where the balls are falling tonight. That's right. 
And I was looking up the Martian Invasion jackpots over 8,000. That one's grown pretty fast, too. We hit that one for, what, 40,000, 42,000 a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it, and it seems like not that long ago. And it's all, all the way over 8,000, so that one's cruising as well. Lots of big prizes out there. Give you some extra cash for the end of summer or maybe some extra cash for the start of winter. Maybe you need a yeah. snowmobile or a shanty or something. Or maybe you're already getting started with Christmas shopping. There you go. Actually, I read uh, about three weeks ago, that's when you should start saving up for Christmas shopping. Three weeks ago? Yes. Middle of summer? Yeah. I nuts. Mean, who knows? Maybe <laughs> you're buying really big gifts. I guess. Yeah, whoever <laughs> made that rule is expecting some really big stuff. <laughs> they, they're the ones that are like in the car commercial, like, I'm getting a Lamborghini. Yeah, like they walk out and it's all <laughs> snowy with the red bow on a, yes. a brand new car. Yeah. No snow on the car. Right. Snow everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're getting new cars for Christmas. Start Ooh, saving now. I cannot wait. Oh, wait, as an intern, do I get a car? Oh, uh, we might need you to drive a U-Haul every oh, now and then. Man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess it's something. <laughs> But <laughs> that is it I know we're game. ending the game here. I, I have a quick story to tell, though. Okay. There's another intern, Alex. Warren's son, Alex. Okay. He had to drive the U-Haul filled with slot machines. Oh, no. Up to a, a gaming show. Okay. We had the show. Everything worked. We put all the slot machines. The, all the slot machines the company owned because we're a small company. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Gator. Hey, Gator. Congratulations. 182 bucks on a $5 buy-in. So anyways, we packed this <laughs> truck full of slot machines, and Alex has to drive it from Seattle to Reno. Yes. Uh, somewhere near Olympia, he goes in to get some gas and a, something inside the 7-Eleven. He comes back out, and the truck is gone. The, oh, no. The U-Haul is just totally gone. Okay. And he was only in there for maybe five minutes. So he's looking around trying to figure out who stole it, and then he sees it, like, down a hill. He f didn't put the brake on. Oh, no. Yeah. And it oh, just, no. And it went crashing down there with all these... <laughs> All these slot machines that we own. Anyways, that was Alex, and I believe at the time he was an intern. I, I will make sure to use a parking brake. Okay, good. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be right back with what do we got coming up next? Uh, up next Winter is Wonder going Land. to be Meso Perch. Meso Perch. All right, Meso Perch coming up next. Quick break. We will be right back.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Mega Wednesday. We got 30 seconds to go before this Meso Perch game gets going. 155 players out there, 1,300 must go dollars. All going back to players here in 20 seconds. And we want to say hello to Louie out there at St. James VFW. How you doing, Louie? Hoping to see you in person at PyCon just a few weeks away, October right. 18th. I heard from Tristan you guys are always fun out there. That is right. <laughs> We got Alex, the intern, sitting here. <laughs> Tristan giving out way too much money at Mega Bar Bingo. Yep. We had to fire him. But we did hire Alex, the intern. That's right. Almost instantly, it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just started working. <laughs> Mason saying that I just kind of showed up, and that's true. And it's not suspicious at all. There we got Marky Mark at Shenanigans. Shenanigans sharing our Facebook post today about Mega Wednesday. So That's Shenanigans, right. Cheer and Chow, thank you so much for doing that. We certainly appreciate that. Oh, hey, there's Keeves. And actually, Keeves is on our leaderboard also. Uh, I think they just dropped to 11th, though. Ah, okay. Yeah, I do remember seeing Keeves at Flintstones. That's right. Yep. We got Bobby J jumping up to first place. Marco with a K in second. Norm Moyer. I love it when people use their first I, and I last like names. That, yeah. yeah. You got Fishhead in fourth place. It's Keeves a good name too, Norm. I like Norm it. Norm Moyer, yes. Norm Moyer at Rack's Bar. Nice to see you out there. You got the Troll 077 in ninth place at the Frontier Lounge. Bossy out there in sixth place. Oh, and there's Cats PJs jumping up to first with 9,000 points. Enablers in second with 6,000 points behind that. Wow, yeah, that yeah. is <laughs> that is really a huge big. lead early uh, this early on in the game. Uh, and well, now Tim, Tom, Tom Miss. Tom Miss out there, or Tom Mix. Yep, if we're Tom doing Mix. Calls. Yes, that is absolutely right. At Huico's, <laughs> nice to see you out there. Tom Miss. Seems like it's Tom Make with all these wins. <laughs> I saw No Show posting in Facebook earlier today saying he changed his name to, what, it, what was it, I Win 1? I Win 1. I, I Win 1, so. and he actually won. So then I type back, change name to I win too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and there's Snowflake and Ape already getting prepared for the cold. Yeah. It's it's gonna come. Yeah, no it matter can, what. It's it's possible. We all know it's coming, but uh, I don't want it. It's it's <laughs> been a short summer, it feels like. I don't know what the deal is with this summer. That's right. It Every, has been a very short summer. Everybody says it's been a short summer, so I know it's not just me. And there's Pops. Pops was a big winner earlier today, right? Yeah, actually I think so. Yep, won one of the uh, the pattern bingo during uh, the happy hour games, I think. Well welcome back, Pops. Yep, thanks for sticking around. Hope you can win some cash here. Blue Beast on the leaderboard, twenty third place, scrolling by, number one in the state. Battle between Blue Beast and Sarah Honey. And Louie is right in there, too, in contention. That's right. Actually, Louie is only 6,000 points behind Sarah Honey. Yeah, and we've got a fishing derby coming up here uh, at the end of tonight. And you can gain 50,000 points on someone. That's right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these names. Love them. <laughs> Love how you guys make your names out there. Tom is in first place. Marco in sixth. P. Truex in 7th, Clyde 69 in 8th place, and Fishhead in ninth place. Oh, okay, so in 30th, we actually had Cancer Sucks going by, and then in 31st, we had Blue Beast, so Blue Beast is out there today. Oh, all right, nice and to see you out there, Blue Beast. Cancer Sucks is currently 6 in the state. That is absolutely right, yes, Cancer Sucks is having a great season as well. I actually thought she might win Season 5 at one point. Yeah. Right at the very beginning, I, I thought she was going to win, uh, but she's holding out. Season six is a long one. Plus, we got two days every week to earn PGL points. That's right. Two days, both with fishing derbies. Yeah, so lots of points each week. We got Thomas in first still, Bingo in sixth, R Dog in seventh, Petrex in eighth place, Clyde 69 in ninth. Oh, I wonder if that's uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Where's Bonnie if Clyde's <laughs> could out be, there? Could be Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, Chris in Meltona. Actually, is Chris new to the leaderboard? I don't remember seeing their name. I believe so. I don't remember that either. Well, oh, and there's Sarah Honey. Oh, of all people jumping up to the seventh place. All right, Sarah Honey. Nice to see you out there trying to take over that lead going into Tuesday night. First in the state. Coming out of Tuesday night. Second in the state. And let's see what happens. Sarah Honey, a ton of plays yeah. left. Jumping up to fifth place now. Yep. Ready to get back that first place spot, it seems like. Well, yeah, just a few thousand points out of first. So uh, any one of these games could could do it. Oh, yeah. 
We've got a coverall bingo game coming up next, right? That's a 54 ball game. Where's our jackpot out on that one? A uh, coverall bingo game coming up. It's a 54 jackpot. And our uh, coverall amount is $33,000 right now. 3300 Yes, 3300 Okay. Yes. There's too many zeros. <laughs> 3300 sounds more reasonable for... I, I will say, as Alex the intern, math is not my That's sponsor. right, yes. Reading numbers may not be... Was not on the interview test. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the question that said, "Can you do calculus?" You just circled the whole question. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you guys were like, "Okay." Okay, must be able to do it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah, honey, down to seventh, but still a ton of plays left. Definitely can move up that leaderboard here in the second game of the evening. We've got the coverall game coming up next. And then uh, what do we have? After that is a Winter Wonderland Winter game. Wonderland. And then we're going to end uh, at the lake with Fishing with Derby. Fishing Derby coming up at the end. So That's right. lots of great stuff happening tonight. And, uh, Sarah, honey, there's only going to be one person in the nerd boat. So, you know, it might not be, like, the actual nerd boat. But it could be you still get good luck. That's right. Oh, oh. there's Dwar. <laughs> Uh, jumping up to first place with 21,000 points, making Thomas drop down to second place with 16,000 points. You're searching remember. for something frantic. Yes. Sarah Honey wanted her own sound effect when she got on the leaderboard. That's and, right, and, and we don't have a bee. She w and then later she requested a bee, which we don't have, but I'm using <laughs> a, a frog, and I forgot to play it when we first saw her on there. Oh, no. That was for you, Sarah Honey. We, we may have, you may have lost all the luck from that, though. <laughs> I took well, too long. Yeah, it did take too long. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't oh, no, she's no, back. No, she's back in okay. ninth place. All right. Never mind. All is right with the world. <laughs> but, yeah, Dwar jumping up to first place from nowhere, uh, playing out the Rustic Saloon and Little Falls. That's a lot of points. Yeah, it is. Yep, for this game, 21,000. That is a lot of points. Tom Miss down to second place. Cats PJs in third. Chris in fourth. P Truex in fifth place. Now sixth. Oh, and we have Louis scrolling by in 65th place yeah. also. Every point counts. That's right. Long season. Long season with a lot of fishing derbies. That is right. <laughs> All right, about three minutes to go in this one. If you still got plays left, start using them up. And actually, I think Missy was on the leaderboard last season too. Yes, she was. Yep. I, I, I had to learn all the history from Tristan. Now, my, have internship. I haven't seen in season six Zemp. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we actually have seen Zemp playing. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just oh, so it's been a few weeks. It's been okay. a few weeks, yeah. All right. Yeah, because uh, season six was when she jumped in the lake. That's right. No, season five, right? No, that the was, end of season, oh, that that was, was beginning season of season six. six? Okay, yeah. That was season six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that we, was pretty great. We will never forget the lake. John. No, we will not. She wanted good luck, and she jumped in the lake with all her clothes on. It just took a few weeks after that to yeah. catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Dwar, though, still in first place with, oh, there it is, last play used up, ending with 22,000 points. Uh, there's a few players that might be able to catch up to him. Sarah with Honey with player place. two left could uh, move up. And I want to say it was Missy still has a few plays left, or, or at least one At least left. one, yeah, yeah, one little sliver over there on the right. We'll see yeah. what happens here. That's what we're update. looking at is the uh, yellow bar on the bottom there. Basically, when that fills up, that means all your plays are done. That's right. And it looks like most of our top nine here have used up all of their plays. Oh, no. I just heard somebody's released the Kraken. Uh-oh. And it's an 80th place. Wow. <laughs> See Nate checking in on Facebook. How you doing, Nate? You're having a great day. I think Nate was playing coverall earlier today. Yes, he was. Yeah. Uh, I, and actually, during the, <laughs> during the first game, he asked, or the lunch hour, he asked if they could say his name. And we noticed about 30 seconds too late. Oh, really? <laughs> he uh, wanted some of that good luck from the host. Well, Nate, we're sending you luck right now. That's right. If uh, if it came too late this morning, that's okay. It's coming back at you right now. <laughs> oh, there's Skip Wins actually jumping up into ninth. Yep, uh, 13,000. Right Sarah points. Honey. So good Sarah job, honey? Skip Wins. Oop, that would give you some more <laughs> for your finishing position. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're just waiting for everyone to finish up their plays or for the clock to run out. That's right. If everybody finishes all of their 45 plays before the clock runs out, then uh, we end the game early. And that has happened once. Yes. 
Usually people will just wait for that clock to get down to five seconds and hit that last play for some lucky results. It's helped before. It has. And since this is actually a 50 winner game, you have to be within the top 50 oh, right. to get Good some point. money back. So if you're you're in 51, you know, maybe waiting. That might help. It could. Yeah. It could get you in the money. But it does look like everyone in the leaderboard, at least for the top nine, they are all done and just waiting. Yep. So we got 10 seconds to go. We'll make the results official, and then we'll take a little bit of a break, reset things, come back for the coverall game. 3300 bucks, 25 cents a card. Low buy-in, big wins. It's 54 balls. That's can right. do it. We hit one earlier today at 53 balls. Right? We did, actually. A and I know Drew was really excited because he thought somebody might hit today. Yeah. But it didn't happen. I think Drew says that every day, though. He does. He's we're all, We are <laughs> always excited to see big winners. That's right. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, it's just as fun for us as it is for you. That is absolutely true. And I was almost thinking tomorrow was Friday. It's not. It's Thursday. It feels like Friday. It does. <laughs> Dwar taking it home, 173 bucks. All right, we are going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back uh, with the coverall game. 3300 bucks, 25 cents a card.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Mega Wednesday. We have $4,000 on the board here. Must go prizes if somebody can win it within 54 balls. That's all going back, 25 cents a card. Big prize out there for a low buy-in. Talking to Sarah Honey on Facebook. She wanted us to play a B sound anytime we saw her name on the leaderboard. We didn't have a B sound, so we played frogs, and she let us know frogs eat bees. And and that is not helping her case. Yes, so we are going to stop playing the frog sound, but we are trying to figure out uh, what sound we are going to play, and uh, we will figure that out here in just a second. That's right. We haven't we, found any good ones yet. Not yet, but we've got some options. <laughs> no good options. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we have a limited set of sounds. And remember, remember, for this first 15 seconds, you've got to hit that big green play button in the bottom right-hand corner of your iPad. If you don't, you're not going to be able to play, and you won't have a chance of getting any of these prizes. How's this one? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know how the cowboy works for a bee, though. Well, so oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 68, saving grace. I guess, especially with Sarah Honey, uh, bees are making honey. That's true. See, that's why I figured it was. Yeah. Oh, 61, Baker's Rum. Thousand cards, three balls away. Wow. Line win, 85 musco bucks, 85 musco dollars for the large M, and that cover all just shy of $4,000. B1, Kelly's Eye. 93 cards, two balls away now. And there's Norm Moyer out there. Norm again. I-21, key of the door. Seven cards, one ball away. Oh, there's Skull Sis. We see her quite a oh, bit. Oh, yeah. I-24, two dozen. 14 cards, one ball away. Jab wins out there. Calling early. You're out there as Jeep guy again. <laughs> G56. <That's right. laughs> Was he worth it? Pops is out there as well. Oh, yeah. 48 <laughs> cards, one ball away. There we oh, go. Oh, bingo. J-bomb oh, seven. No. All right, J-bomb, congratulations. And that's at the Red Rooster Bar and Grill, it looks like. And that was on a G53 stuck, it, ooh, excuse me, stuck in the tree. One card, seven balls away. Nobody on the leaderboard just yet. Waiting to get somebody within five balls of this large M pattern. Oh, 64, red raw. 12 cards, seven balls away. Oh, 73, queen B. There you go, queen B. I would have a B sound for that. <laughs> We have a monkey sound. I, I don't think that's close okay. to a B. B3, cup of tea. Laura, five balls away. Nice seeing you on the leaderboard. First player on the leaderboard today. And 38, Christmas cake. So Laura's playing at EJ's Bottle Shop and Bar, and Mason and I were wondering, do they sell just bottles? Oh, I don't know. See, now I'm very, now I'm wondering. I-23, a duck in the sea. B15, young and keen. Seven cards, five balls away. And 41, time for fun. Woo! Seven cards, five balls away. 50 cards, oh, wow. six balls away. I26, pick and mix. And we got Gary now, four balls away with Laura. Gary playing at Riverboat Lanes. And 34, ask for more. J-Mom uh, playing with us uh, starting in season six. That's right. Or season five. July started season six. Oh, oh yeah. July. I thought January for some reason. Oh. B9, doctor's orders. Four cards, four balls away. B11, legs 11. We got easy money on the leaderboard. And ironically, no easy money game on the schedule no. tonight. No, it's it, actually that happened last week. They were playing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I eighteen coming of age. Five cards, four balls away. I seventeen dancing queen. Did you hear that Curtis and Amelia had never heard of the song Dancing Queen before? No, I did not hear that. <laughs> That's amazing. I twenty nine rise and Good shine. Good morning. Nine cards, four balls away. Did you play it for him? Uh, Drew did. Okay. Drew is very <laughs> upset. Okay. And 32, <laughs> Velcro my shoe. He should have been upset. <laughs> he was He was very upset, actually. <laughs> oh, 62, 
turn on the screw. P. Webb now three balls away at Old Northrop Bar. In fact, uh, essentially what happened was the moment we stopped uh, uh, recording, he ran back there and started blasting it. <laughs> B2, one little duck. Six cards, three balls away. Did he play it from his computer, or did he get into the inner? I think he had have a speaker system. Oh, no, we weren't using the intercom, okay. no. N42, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. I, li I like that idea, though. N37, more than 11. Well, I don't know how to do it, so I was going to be impressed that somebody had figured it out. Well, according to everyone who was here before me, uh, they don't work that well. Okay. <laughs> I27, <laughs> gateway to heaven. One card, two balls away from this large M pattern. 85 Ooh. must go dollars. Cam, 0711. Uh, I, 30, dirty gertie. One card, two balls away still. Six cards, three balls away. Oh, 75, strive and strive. Ooh, Cam. Cam, one ball away, all by yourself. Here's ball 30. Does it help? Nope. Oh, 70, three score and 10. Three cards, two balls away. Cam getting close to that M pattern real early on. Yep. B6, Tom Mix. Not to be confused with Tom Miss. Tom Miss is a player. That's right. Tom Mix is a rhyme. That's right. G49, one more time. Nine cards, two balls away. They're catching up to you, Cam. Oh, Cam. The Peloton is right behind Cam, two balls away. N43, uh, down on your knees. Cam's still out there by yourself. Another chance for Cam. Ball 34. G48. Four dozen. I always forget the dozen ones. Yep. And 33. Two cups of tea. 60 cards. Three balls away. They're catching up to you, Cam. Come on. And 35. Jump and jive. Oh, shit. Cam is just, just sitting out there like... Another uh, chance by yourself, Cam. G47, 4 and 7. 11 cards catching up to Cam. The Peloton is getting bigger, Cam. I'm, I'm feeling nervous here for you, Cam. Oh, no. Uh -oh. B13, unlucky for some. Lil Lucy, Cam, Fats, and Brittany, one ball away. G59, Brighton. 26 cards, two balls away. There we oh, go. There it is. Bingo! Cam. Cam. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Cam. That was yours. You just wanted you, to show off. You earned that one. Yes. <laughs> he was just showing uh, off. And that was on 071. Bang on the drum. Don, already three balls away. Pistol, four balls away. Jeep guy still out there. Yep. B7. Lucky seven. Oh, win this four, oh. almost $4,000 prize here. Oh, 65, old age pension. Don's still three balls away with 12 balls to go. Everyone has a shot right now. G51, tweak of the thumb. Three cards, three balls away. Jeep guy moving up again. And 45, halfway there. Three cards, three balls away. Uh, oh, 67, made in heaven. Jeep guy, Don, pistol, three balls away, 15 cards, four balls away. Oh, 74, candy store. Four cards, three balls away, eight balls to go. I, 25, duck and dive. Six cards, three balls away. Oh, 63, tickle me, 63. 13 cards, three balls away. Oh, 72, a crutch and a duck. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I see. Like it. I said, okay, duck. all right, I get it. Uh, Drew likes the duck noise. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> G52. Danny Lowe. What's going on with the daytime rhymes? We <laughs> thought you heard all of our new rhymes. We we have some new new rhymes. Yeah, I'm G60, five dozen. All right, oh, Jeep, guy, Jeep Guy, one ball away here. We got three chances for Jeep Guy. Here we go, ball 52. Is this it? No. 
G57. Heinz Variety. J Bomb now one ball away as well, picking up the line win back in action for that coverall. And 40, naughty 40. Last ball. Two players with a chance. Jeep guy and J Bomb. Here we go. Ball 54. We got a winner. 3900 bucks. Hey! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> All Jeep right. guy. Jeep guy. Congratulations. <laughs> That was exciting. I, that was. I'm oh so used goodness. to nobody winning these coveralls. Yeah. I just didn't have any feeling that it was going to happen. Ever but. since we got rid of that Tristan guy. That's right. <laughs> yeah. There is Jeep Guy, though, getting that coverall jackpot. Congratulations, Jeep Guy, out at the Trail yep, Blazer Big Lounge. congrats to Jeep Guy. You're in the running the whole game and then picking it up there right at the end. So That's nice, right. Nice win. 3900 bucks. And uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Winter, Winter Wonderland, Wonderland and then Fishing Derby. Wow, what a big win.
Hello, everyone. We are back with Mega Wednesday. I am Tristan, and this... I'm Tony. That's right. We switched it up just a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't throw anyone off, but we just wanted to, we wanted to change things up. Yes, we wanted everybody to know that things can be different if we want them to be. That's right. And hopefully, it doesn't affect anyone's luck, because we're all out That's here true. to get a little bit... A little bit, yeah, a little yes. bit of money. <laughs> Tony regrets giving us the soundboard every day, I think. I know. I'm kind of mad that it's out of my reach. <laughs> I can't hit it. I want to just push the buttons. I love pushing the soundboard buttons. Uh, yeah, just I'll be like the guy from Police Academy. <laughs> but we are <laughs> stepping right into Winter Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> Mason, you're on delay back there. You have no idea what I was doing, do you? No. Mason, no, Mason, Mason didn't know what those sound Mason effects were. Mason says no. He just says no. <laughs> but we are doing a 45-play tournament with 10 minutes to go. Yes, we got 10 minutes here, 45 plays, and look at that. Don A. Who, out of nowhere, uh, up to first place with 11,000 points. Man, I'm surprised I haven't seen Don A. Who on the leaderboard yet. Yep, playing at Colonial Lanes, leaderboard. number three in the state for the bar standings for season six. That's right, and there's Missy again. Hello, Missy, out at Anamia Vets Club, uh, TG, TJ Ace. In third. Yeah, welcome back, Missy, or welcome back to good luck, because it That's seems right. like it's been a while since we've seen you on the leaderboard, but you've ha you're having a great night today. And we've actually seen Mariah earlier this week. I think Mariah was playing yesterday. Okay. Uh, we out saw her name quite a bit. At the Woodshed. Nice to see you out there. That's right. So Donna, who currently in first, Missy in second, Spanky in third, Marcash in fourth, and Skinner in fifth. Marcash is what you use on Mars when you. Oh, Mars Cash. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's like Tesla money. Yes. <laughs> stuff in 14th. We've seen a lot of stuff on the leaderboard yeah, that's tonight. Right. Everyone loves stuff just because it's fun out there. Van Beard is actually a name I recognize. They were playing last week with us. Uh, they were the line winner. That's right. Oh, nice. I, I just liked it because their avatar was the bald guy with a beard. Okay. <laughs> and it's like Van Beard. I like it. I'm uh, I'm checking out where that test. Did the Tesla make it to Mars? I'm just asking. I don't think it's there yet. It seems like it should have been. Now, Unless see, they've been lying about how far away Mars is. <laughs> Gary in second place, Missy in third, Van Beard in fourth, and Spanky in fifth. We're okay, after making its way past Mars, it's uh -oh. still going. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh. Well, I don't know. I don't I know if it, it maybe got lost. There. The GPS apparently malfunctioned and it didn't make a turn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just supposed to go in orbit. Oh no! I thought it was supposed to land so we could drive it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their plans were, but apparently it's still driving. Uh, it went, or it just went zooming past. Th it's kind of like the Voyager gold plaque that shows like humanity. Now it's like, okay, you know, 50 years later, here's a here's an electric car with yeah. a, a mannequin in it. <laughs> the battery that has no chance this, of working. This, this, Long this past its shelf life. <laughs> <laughs> but there is Gary in second place, uh, taking over from Van Beard, Missy in fourth now, and Kalis jumping up to the leaderboard in fifth place. It looks like, K oh, Kayla's falling to sixth place. Who knows what happened there? Tom Miss back on the leaderboard from uh, Ricos. Tom Miss. Uh, we always get you mi mixed up with Tom Mix. That is one of our bingo calls. That is true. <laughs> Tom Mix. But Don A. Who is still doing really well. Of course, Gary's only about 200 points behind them right now. But Don A. Who with a ton of plays left, uh, who I actually got to meet. Yeah, PCS. For, for PCS. Don uh, A Who and Don A Ho. Don A Who and Don A Ho. That's right. And it was really funny because whenever you would say Don A Who is doing really well, somebody who didn't know that their their names were similar would be like, it's Don A Ho. <laughs> and it wasn't Don A Ho saying that or Don A Who. <laughs> but it, they it knew was, who was who. Yes, it was really funny. <laughs> like, let's see that. Oh, and there's KJJ1 uh, taking first place out at the municipal liquor store in Mapleton. First place going to be 94 bucks. Second, 65. Third, 65. Fourth, 47. How many? Oh, Gary taking first place again. Uh, Louis scrolling by in 40th, too. How many winners are there for this game? Uh, for this game, there are 50. 50 winners. Okay. So 50 winners, that means as long as you're in the top 50, you are going to have a chance at some money. The money. Right now, uh, position 44 is 6,200 PGL points, just so you have a frame of reference of how high you got to get. That's right. And I, I forgot to do some. Oh, there we go. Not some money, some of that. So. <laughs> uh, I, I am kind of glancing at the at Roadster the thing, thing to know what's going on. So. Their plan was to send it to Mars. Okay. And then just they didn't have a plan after that apparently. So it went to Mars, 
went zoom in past it, went around the sun, and now this astrophysicist is doing a big math problem. He says there's a good chance it may come back to Earth and, and burn up in the atmosphere. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay. See, <laughs> that means they tried to do like a slingshot around yeah. Mars. Yeah, <laughs> and just brought it right back. <laughs> Those lithium-ion batteries are dangerous. Oh, man. Oh, got Van Beard in seventh, Carlota in eighth, and Missy in ninth. Five minutes to go. We are halfway done, so make sure you're using those plays if you haven't used them all. Okay, JJ won. Ton of plays left. So is, uh, does Donna Who in fourth place. And there's uh, P. Truex. Uh, back on the leaderboard yeah, again. back yep. on the leaderboard again. I don't know what their luck is, but it's something. Know. Balls are falling in their direction. Studsy out there in seventh, and Carlotta in eighth place. Oh, and there's Armar taking first place, kind of like Mar Cash. Ah, yes. That's Armar, if you know No Show, say hello. That's right. Might be out there. No Show and Luck Hay. Okay, so we're hearing that Armar was a top 10 winner two weeks ago. See, now I'm wondering if Armar is supposed to be Mars or us. Could be. And we for you guys, for everybody at the Trails Grill, that Pilot Cup is getting engraved. It's going to make its way out there. I'm just unsure of its current status. That's right. Uh, Tony actually had to bring me in to threaten the, the uh, engraver. <laughs> the engraver. It was all in one piece. I did see it last Friday, I think, or Thursday. Either yeah. last Thursday or Friday, I did see it all together. They just hadn't started on it yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Gary taking first place while we were talking about the trophy, too. <laughs> Gary out at Riverboat Lane's doing real well. KJJ, though, probably going to pass him. They're yeah, only about a few 50 plays left. points behind with a few points. There, there it is. goes. There it is, KJJ saying, I want that first place. Do you know what the one in KJJ1 stands for? First place? Yes. It does. <laughs> that was it exactly. Speaking of PGL points, we are partway through season six. Blue Beast is in first, Sarah Honey in second, and Louie in third place. All three of those players are out there tonight earning PGL points. We're going to find out where the standings are at the end of tonight. But remember, the very last game is Fishing Derby, and that's the one that shakes everything up. It's not over until all the fishing is done. That's right, till that last hook is set. Oh, that's a good one. See, <laughs> I, I was trying to think of a way to do, like, until the fat lady sings yeah. but for fishing. I think I might have just made that up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, until the last <laughs> – see, this is why we need Mason out here. Yeah. It, it's not over until the last fish is fried. That works too, yes. That's how that is. <laughs> but KJJ1 still in first – Nearly 20, and there it is, 20,000 points for KJJ1. Studsy in second with 18,000 points. Don Ahu, 40 points behind Studsy with a few plays left also. Gary in fourth and P2 Truix in fifth. And we are going to destroy the world record for the most PGL points in a season I this season. So. Partly because we're having a lot more games because we're doing Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but also because maybe people are just a little bit more lucky. That's right. Uh, because season... Four, we saw our first million point winner in an in entire season. Right now in season six, Blue Beast is already over 600,000 points, and we're about seven weeks into it. So that's, right. that's, that's amazing. Seven out of 24. Rushing headlong towards that one million points. Yep, we're going to be there before we know it. Probably by October, we're going to have some million point players. Be before snow's on the ground. That's right. Before it snows, we're going to have a million point player. <laughs> KJJ1, though, out there with one play left. It looks like Studsy taking back second and Donna Who falling back to third. Less than two minutes to go, so make sure you're using all of those plays. Very important. Uh, looks like Carlota out there still with a few plays left, as well as Missy. Got the fishing derby game coming up next. It's ten dollar game, twenty five winners, and the largemouth jackpot is close to two thousand dollars, nineteen hundred twenty eight bucks right now. It's going to go up a little bit more as people enroll, so that is going to be a nice jackpot. Remember, you can catch that one on any golden walleye bonus. You don't just have to be the first place player. It's any golden walleye bonus is going to get you that big. If you get the largemouth and the golden walleye, you're going to get that prize. That's right, or at least a share of it. That's more right. If two people hit it, then we <laughs> split it. And it looks like KJJ1, Studsy, Donnie, Who, Gary, and P. Truex have all used up all their plays. And it looks like same with Armar, Carlota, Van Beard, and Missy. Less than 60 seconds to go. So if you're out there with plays, make sure to use them all. The sooner we all finish, the sooner we all get to move on to Fishing Derby. That's right. Yeah, Mich uh, Michipu. Michipu, yeah. One of our top anglers out there, winning in Meso Perch, 
uh, some money and winning in uh, Fish and Derby a little bit of money last week. So that's right. on leaderboard tonight, that's somebody to watch out for in the next game when we get on to uh, Fish and Derby and watch out for Mitchy Poo. I, or at least see where they're fishing. That's right. If they go to the Bay de Mort or Eagle Island, either packed like zombie uh, repellent or <laughs> uh, eagle repellent. Nothing works on the gators yet. That's true. Just, just as a heads up. We did Speed. tell Mason that, right? Speed works. Speed we, works. Where are my Crocs? I, I burn a trail of rubber <laughs> when I got out of there. <laughs> on the golf cart. That's right. And that is it for the game. Winter Wonderland is coming to a close. We are just watching as the computer runs through all the calculations it needs to. But it looks like KJJ1 ran away with that. Yeah, 20,000 PGL points. Big congrats to you out there. And uh, when this is all official, we will take a little bit of a break and get that boat going. That's right. Oh, there it is. KJJ1, $94 out of the Municipal Liquor Store in Mapleton. Congratulations. Congratulations. But that is going to be it for Winter Wonderland. Give us a second. We have to get our boats ready. You all have to get your boats ready, and you have to find your fishing buddies. And we will be back with some fishing derby.
Hello everyone. We are here. We're just kind of messing around with a few <laughs> few sound effects. Yep, we're going through the soundboard <laughs> trying to find out what else we could do to make the show more enjoyable. And specifically trying to find a bee sound, which we still have Or found. something like a bee. Or something like a bee. But we are here for Fishing Derby, everyone's favorite game. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the fishing buddies. I don't know if it's because of the points, but I know that everyone seems to love it. It's a great game, yeah. With over 200 anglers showing up for this one, there's going to be a good chance we're going to catch some of those bonuses out there. We've got the smallmouth jackpot over 200 bucks and the largemouth jackpot over $2,100. You can win that on any cast. That's right. And it was actually just a couple of weeks ago somebody got both the largemouth and the smallmouth. Uh, one player did. Yeah, uh... Actually, two I different think players. That is, I think that was it. Okay. Two players split the large mouth. Yeah. But then one of those players got also the small got the small mouth. mouth. Yeah, I think that is what happened. And there's Sterling actually out in first already at Frontier Lounge with eight thousand points. Yeah. The thing about this game is there are so many PGL points in this game. Uh, players walk away with fifty thousand easy, fifty thousand points. And when first through fourth place are separated by 5,000 PGL points, that can really uh, make a big difference in our overall Season 6 PGL standings. That definitely can. And, oh, no, they've already moved off the board. Uh, your favorite player, Card Shark, was there. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Card, Card Shark. Let's Card see Shark. out there. My, uh, he, Card Shark is one of my favorite players, but Card Shark, the game show, is my favorite game show. That's by right. By far. <laughs> And Tony keeps trying to tell us what this game show is, and we and nobody we seems to understand. Very concerned yeah, because <laughs> we're like, are you describing a real game show? <laughs> and why this would somebody like such a horrible show? This doesn't actually sound like anything we know. Yeah. Super or Dave would out there know. Yeah. <laughs> in fifth place. Super Dave Osborne playing at the Commander Bar. And was Super Dave Osborne the uh, daredevil? Yeah, he was like a he okay. was like a comedic daredevil kind of okay. thing that showed up on the David Letterman show. Okay, so. That just reminds me, in the new Toy Story, there's like a knockoff uh, Evil Knievel that's Canadian. Oh, okay. And now every time I see Super Dave, I think of the knockoff Evil Knievel, Evil Knievel Canadian. Yeah, right? okay. <laughs> like, that's it. Oh, there's Easy Money. Yep. Easy well, Money, not able to play their namesake, but out there fishing up at Pete's Inn in La Crescent. Yep, no problem, Easy Money. Maybe we'll have an Easy Money game for you next week. That's or you right. can play at pull tabs anytime you want. <laughs> that's right. And actually, so I just noticed there's only a 300-point difference between second and third, but a 5,000-point difference between first and second. So quite a bit to go. Yeah, it's still early, though. There's a lot of room left, a lot of casts out there with this being a 50-cast game. Uh, anything's possible because you can win. We've seen people win 10, 15,000 on a single cast. Exactly. And it can change the whole story of this game. It can change the whole story of PGL season. That's right. And I just also noticed one of the players' names was Leo's So Cute. Oh. Oh, and they're gone already. I don't know if they're talking about Leonardo DiCaprio or there's somebody named Leo out there. I remember there was a guy named Leo who was on um, Tech TV. Oh, my goodness. That <laughs> saying Tech TV is like, I'm surprised I even remember Tech TV. Yeah. Because then it became G4. Yes, but there's Brittany. <laughs> which also no longer voice. exists. G4 also does not <laughs> exist. That's also very true. Yeah, yeah we saw Michi Poo on weird. the leaderboard there. We were just talking about Michi Poo in the last game about how Michi Poo always performs well in Meso Perch or Fishing Derby. And there he was in the top nine just a second ago. That's right. So if you want to know where to fish, you follow Michi Poo. Yep. But people might be following Brittany. And uh, I don't think that's Brittany Spears. Well, but it we may, do have a ton it of could celebrities. Be. But the other thing we could do is we could check in with Mason and you see know, if he's following people around out there. I, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I. Uh, I think he said he was going to Prosperity Harbor. Let's he send said, the camera out there. Yeah, he said he wanted to avoid the alligators or something. I don't get why. It's not, it's not like well, they're that bad. You only yeah. lost a leg to one, right? And a bottom of my croc. And the bottom. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> All right. Well, Mason, how are you doing out there? That is right. I am staying clear of Eagle Island tonight. There is no interns to throw into the water to distract the alligators to get away. <laughs> I That's don't think there's a problem with Eagle Island. Around too much. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you know, the alligators don't seem to eat me. They go for you. So. I saw a picture today of an alligator climbing a fence. Oh. That's it. Yeah. I, I'm <laughs> so, out of here. I'm so going to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look out. You're not safe I'm at Prosperity Harbor. Yeah, yeah, you might want a helicopter uh, view of this. Now, hold on. I've seen Lake Placid, and even the helicopter isn't safe. Uh-oh. Well, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, do you see anybody out there, Mason? Anybody <laughs> catch anything big? Yeah, I'm uh, fishing with a lot of people over here. We have Boone Me 3, Mer Merlin, Kelly, To Go, Marco, Cheese Fry, The Kraken. 
oh, boat Kraken. racer. There's wow. just a ton of people over here at Prosperity right now. Wow. So it seems like Prosperity is real popular, even though alligators can climb fences. <laughs> even though they can climb fences, Prosperity is pretty popular tonight, <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're going to switch it back here, and uh, you, you just let us know what's going on over at Eagle Island, If okay? you hear me screaming, you guys might want to come check on me. <laughs> we'll just close the door and soundproof the room. <laughs> yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. It's fine. We'll get another boat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mason. See you guys. All right. We'll see you, Mason. All right, so that was Mason reporting from Prosperity Harbor. Oh, and there's Marco taking first place. As soon place. as we come back, Marco jumps up to the lead there, 29,000 yeah. PGL points, over 1,600 in front of Brittany in second place. Congratulations, Marco. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of interested. Let's see what people are using for fishing. Yeah, boats. let's yeah. see what's happening. So let's switch over here. It looks like we've got 35% for, uh, that's not Matt, that's Peter. That's Peter, yeah. 38% for Susie, and then Matt's at 25. Yeah, Peter and Susie, Susie used to be by far the choice. That's right. And now Peter and Susie have been battling it out a little bit yeah. recently. Yeah, and I always feel kind of bad for Matt because uh, – no one seems to pick Matt at all. No, Have but one time that? he was not in last place. That's right. It did happen once. It, ha it happened once, and then nobody won with him. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> or they were creeped out by the sunglasses. Yeah, we and then really it, don't know. And then it just didn't work for him. <laughs> that was his one weekend to shine. It was his time to shine. He was in the spotlight. All he had to do was produce some results, <laughs> and he didn't. Poor the, Matt. The pressure was too much yep. for him. And there's Mitchie Poo again in ninth place. Uh, I mean, 19,000 points. That's kind of within striking distance of first. Yeah, it is, uh, derby, especially it is. when you have some plays left. That's right. So far, nobody's picked up either of those progressives. We're monitoring that as closely as we can. Oh, no. I, I just heard there's a gator in 65th. Well, that gator needs to get running because you got to get in the top 50 to get in the money. That's right. And just to show you how fast uh, names can change in this, we did have Scotty in fourth place, and now Scotty is nowhere to be seen. Oh, there's yep. Brittany in. And Scotty moving back up to back fifth. To fifth, yeah. It's you can bounce all over the place, on the board, off the board. It's not over until you hit that fiftieth cast. That's right. But Brittany doing real well out there. Scotty, I just wanted to point out because I've been watching Star Trek. Oh. I've never watched it before, and I started to watch it. Scotty is easily one of my favorite characters, so I'm glad Scotty is out there enjoying it. Okay, so I've never watched Star Trek either. Oh really? No. Scotty is one of the best characters ever. Hey, speaking of, of TV shows, and Lost. Lost, yes. Lost out there with the smog monster. So smog monster. are you watching? There's a like millions of Star Treks. I've, I'm watching them chronologically. So like from the 60s or 70s? No, from the latest one because the latest one was a prequel. Oh. To, yes. Wow. Yes. So, it, so you're watching them in the order that the events actually happen. Yes, and it's really confusing. <laughs> and there are actually sites dedicated to this. And they're all put together horribly, I found out. Wow. <laughs> but. <laughs> and are these all on Netflix? Uh, I think they're on Netflix. I'm using Amazon, though. Okay. Yes, that's so right. So some kind of streaming thing. Some, some kind of streaming Yeah, thing. okay. But Lost is still out there in first. Only 1,000 points behind them is Brittany. Marco in third. Only 2,000 points behind first place. And Nicole is in fifth. I was wondering. She didn't show up for work today. Oh, yeah. So she must have went out to play. I, I, I thought she just walked by. Oh, okay. See, well. now I don't know. I'm <laughs> Looks now like I'm she's all out playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchy Poo in eighth, using up all their cast. Mitchy Poo trying to hurry to that first place, it looks like. Yeah, Nicole at Lorianne's with a bunch of plays left in fifth place. Easily could get into first place with that right. amount of plays left. Half you, the plays. You know, I'm, I'm wondering, where do you think Mason might have gone to? You think he's at the dockside bar? Sounded like he was going to check out early tonight. Man, I, I mean, that seems really early, even for Mason. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to say anything mean, but uh, uh, Mason, are, are you there? Do we have you? I don't know what you're talking about early. I wake up at the dockside bar. <laughs> <laughs> Pass out and wake up at the dockside <laughs> bar. That is right. <laughs> I'm out here hanging with Easy Money, Nicole, Lil Lucy, CK Lowe, Louie, Gabby, Winner. It's weird. You Got just the whole said, gang here. It's weird you just said easy money because as soon as you said that, they took first. Yep, jumped right up to the top of 38,000 PGL points. They were waiting for me to say the name. That's was right. It, was it the margarita they were drinking? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we're glad you're out there having fun. We'll, we'll see if we can check in with you a little bit later. Okay? Sounds good. All right. See you, Mason. Bye, guys. Yeah, All easy right. money taking over that lead there. 38,000 PGL points. Couple casts left for easy money. That's right. Oh, and there's lost wow. again. Taking them right back. That's that's what they call a flip flop at the top. Flip flop. That is. That's a flip flop at the top. Easy money lost. Easy money lost. Oh man. Okay. But only uh, four hundred thirty point difference. I, oh. 
our web saying, you know what, never mind. That's right. I'm just going to blow past both of you. Wow, 42,000 PGL points with a bunch of plays left. Yeah, my goodness. Actually, let's uh, let's take a look at what lures people are using here real fast. So it looks like people are slowly starting to use the worm up in the top right-hand corner, but that lure in the top left-hand corner, that first lure, is really popular. Yeah, that's the one a lot of people fish with at the beginning, and as the lake gets fished out or it gets a little colder, the sun starts to set, we can go over to the worms. Yeah, and you know, I recently learned that that grasshopper one is called a popper. Oh, the one in the upper left? Yes. Is a popper, okay. Yes, a popper, a popper lure. Uh, which I remember That's good to know. watching my dad use one, and it looks really difficult. Well, I recognized all the, all of those lures. I've I used all too. of them. Um, I never oh, you, bothered. Oh, you use them though. Yeah. Oh, I've, okay. I've done a lot of fishing, but okay. I never bothered to, you know, figure out all the names. <laughs> <laughs> Like that thing down there. The one that's not it's tangled horrible. up with a bunch of other stuff, that's the one I'm going to use. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I don't care what it looks like. Yeah. Let's just use it. Then somebody's like, that's for sharks. There yeah. are no sharks in this area. And you go, I, it's fine. Yep. It's fine. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> but it looks like our web's still in first with a few plays left. Nicole in sixth with plays. Maggie in seventh with plays. But Scotty and Spiff has used up all their plays. I'm going to say watch out for Maggie. Maggie I has so. a ton of plays left with under four minutes to go. Uh, but back about 10,000 PGL points off first place. So Maggie actually has a lot of runway here. Could jump up to the front, but yeah. we'll see what happens. And oh, Maggie actually was a top angler a couple Okay, weeks, yeah, though, so like. she knows what's going on. Yeah. Knows the strategy, knows to wait for the big ones, let everybody else catch the little fish, and then she'll come in and scoop up the big ones. That's right, and there's Nicole slowly moving up. I was going to say it looked like... Everyone from fourth to fifth had used up all their plays until Nicole yep, jumped up. Yep, jumped up on the top five. There's Maggie with 33,000 PGL points. Super Dave jumping up on the leaderboard, too, uh, with 29,000 points in ninth place. Three minutes to go, and then we are going to do a little bit of a wrap-up and get out of here. But remember that uh, Mega Bar Bingo, is the jackpot is over $32,000. And you got chances to win that every Monday through Friday at 12.30 and 4.30. And do I hear a noise in my wait, head? Wait, wait. Is that? It? I, oh, what? I think I do. What? What? What is that? What? It looks like Marky Mark. All right, now Marky Mark. How that cheer and chow has hit that small mouth jackpot. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations, Marky Mark. Uh, we've got fireworks that go off to the left here. And sometimes it's hard to see, so that's why you see us glance over there. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, Marky Mark, that's a $200 smallmouth jackpot. Congrats on that one. Yes, congratulations. Oh, Cancer Sucks checking in on Facebook saying hello. Good luck, Cancer Sucks. Hope you had a good night tonight. That's right. Yeah, I mean, we, we hope everyone's having a good night tonight. It looks like our web's having a good night as well as Nicole, and I think Maggie has actually moved Yeah, Maggie is in the Nicole. top five now. Nicole bumping down to sixth. So Maggie also having a really nice night. And yeah, there's that. Maggie about five to eight casts left here in the last two minutes. Only 10,000 points from first place. Yep. So our web better watch out. Oh. Let's see what happens here. Minute should 50 we, to should go. Should we check in on Mason one more time? I, I, I mean... I, I don't know. He might be at the beta bar. Let's see if he's there. Yeah. It's kind of a guesswork. I, I actually never really truly appreciated what Tony has to do to find us. <laughs> yeah, you got to crank a lot of buttons, send the quadcopter out there, have it report back. That's right. Autonomous vehicle. So, Mason, what, what do you have for us? Give us a quick update. Well, things got a little wild at the dockside, and for somehow, somehow I ended up at the bay. <laughs> but Where's your boat? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice, <laughs> <laughs> but it was perfect timing because it was right in time to see Marky Mark at that uh, smallmouth, uh, so it was pretty cool to see him reel that in. Yeah. I'm also hanging out with Lost, uh, Laura, Brittany, Clyde, Snuggles, Mitchie Poo, okay. Marcos, and Walleye. You a know, lot a of lot people. of people. Yeah, a lot of right big now. anglers out there. A lot of people. All That's right. right. Well, Mason, uh, be safe out there, and uh, do me a favor. Go check on the alligators in Eagle Island. I wasn't able to feed him. Today. I'm going back to the dockside bar. <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds good. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Thanks, Mason. See you, Mason. Bye, guys. We saw Maggie jumping up to third place with a couple plays left. Let's see if That's Maggie right. can get all the way up to first place. It looks like Nicole has used up all her casts also. So, Ma oh, there's Maggie jumping to up second. to second. Ah, and and uh, going to finish in second, it looks like. As long as nobody gets a really big fish out there. That is true. There's still 20 seconds to go. It's not over till that last uh 
fish is in the boat or the, la <laughs> the fish last fish is fried? The last fish that's has what it to was. be fried. That's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the last fish is fried. That's how we do but it. But it looks like Lojo actually jumped up on the leaderboard when we weren't looking. Yep. Knocking Scotty off ninth place. Scotty, I'm so sorry, but I still believe in you in Star Trek. Beat me up, Scotty. That's right. Do they say that? <laughs> yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> Only once, though. It, it does not get used very often. And that is going to be it. We are just waiting for the computer to see who has fried the best fish. Make it official for our web out there at Old Northrop Bar. 47,000 PGL points. Congrats again to Marky Mark at uh, Shenanigans for picking up that smallmouth jackpot. Right. And there it is, our web officially getting $103 in the first place spot. Congratulations, our web, and congratulations to everyone else. But that is going to be it for Fishing Derby, everyone's favorite game at the lake. Give us just a couple of minutes, and we will be right back with a wrap-up. Once I find the mouse. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are back with our wrap-up of the night. Mason, what sort of information do you have for us? <laughs> Look, it, it, you got to get oh, paid. you got to keep I working actually just here. I actually just realized something. Mason, what sort of information do you have for us? It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yes, we, we, you may have been muted. Oh, okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> Fun night of games. Great Mega Wednesday tonight. <laughs> Started out tonight with Blingo Bingo, where the top five players tonight were... Gator, Bill, Louie, Sam, and a Sailor Girl. After that, we had Meso Perch, where we, the winners tonight were Dewar, Thomas, Missy, Cats, PJs, and P Tracks. After that, we had the Coverall Jackpot Jungle Game, where J Bomb 7 took that line win, Cam with the large M, and Jeep Guy getting that Coverall yeah. Jackpot. Then Tony and I switch places. That's right. That's the important Changing part. the luck. And you guys did switch places after that. That's <laughs> right. Actually confused me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because Jeep Guy did get that coverall, that will reset next week to a starting value of $1,000. Oh, wow. Okay. After the coverall game, we had Winter Wonderland, where tonight's winners were KJJ, Studsy, Donahue, Gary, and p Tracks again. And finishing up the night with everyone's favorite fishing derby, where tonight's top anglers were R Web, Maggie, Laura, Lost, and Easy Money. We also had Marky Mark reel in that smallmouth jackpot. That means that smallmouth resets next week to $100. And that largemouth is still swimming out there, starting at over $2,100 next week. Wow. Okay. That's a big one. On a $10 buy-in, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's not bad at all, especially for fishing derby. I mean, it, I, I would be okay with winning the $203. For sure, like me Mark too. Mark yeah, Mark I'd be happy oh with yeah. winning anything. <laughs> but we are actually just waiting here for the computer to update the PGL standings. Oh, okay, so uh, we're still, 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 still waiting still, on the still update? Waiting. It's very important. The computer is actually taking as much time as possible. We're going to make sure it's accurate. Exactly, because if it's not accurate, it's not going to work. But we do need to wait because we got to figure out what happened in Fishing Derby because that's the one – uh, where all the points come out. Look at that top prize right there for our web, 47,000 PGL points. That can make a huge difference. When we're talking about, uh, you know, five, 10,000 point differential between our, our leaders. So uh, we'll see. We'll give it another second or so, another minute or two. It actually <laughs> looks like it just updated. Okay, and what do we have? So in Breaking fifth place, news. we still have Bryzo. In fourth place is Just Inks. Third place is Louie. 
Second place is still Sarah Honey. Okay. And in first place is Blue Beast. But, and this is very important, there is an 800 point difference between first and second Whoa. place. Right wow. Now. <laughs> That's it is nothing. It is almost exactly 800 points. So Sarah Honey actually started Jeez. tonight with, I want to say it was like a 9,000 point difference and whittled that down to 800. That's points. one play. Exactly. Out of a 45 play in, game. In any of our games, yeah. except for the Crazy. bingo games, it's, it's one play. Wow. And then Louie actually started with a 7,000 point difference but is now over 10,000 points behind Sarah Honey. Okay, so Sarah Honey had a great night. Sarah Honey did really well, and it looks like she pulled ahead when it came to Fishing Derby and just got got that with, like, a, a razor-sharp wow. focus. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's right. Well, nice playing out there, Sarah Honey. Yes. See if you can do it tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow, 1230 and 430 Megabar Bingo, over $32,000 for $0.25 cents a card. Looking for a big winner. It's been a while since we hit that. Yes, and I did want to say, we've talked about it tonight, but make sure you sign up for PyCon yes. at pilotgames.com. Uh, if you sign up, we at least get to count you at the door, and you could meet the Blues Brothers. Yeah, the That's Blues right. Brothers are going to be there. May even see the Blues Mobile vehicle. That's right. I hear I get to wash it. Yes. <laughs> when we're done. you got to put right. gas in it, too. <laughs> oh, no. That probably Comes takes out of your a paycheck. lot of money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get paid? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I, I didn't get paid as an intern. Yeah, well, maybe not. <laughs> we take it We take it from you when you get hired on full-time. Oh. <laughs> then we take it out. <laughs> okay, all right, that makes sense. Well, I think that's about it. Yep. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? All I want to say is when you play pilot games, your community wins. That's right. Have a nice night, everyone. See ya.